Winston here and, and Felix, obviously in that order of importance. Winston, what's the wisdom of the day? The Fed indeed, Bauman just spoke, advocating more ear massages and more 0.75% rate hikes until inflation moderates. And what does that mean? It means this whole wishful thinking of September, you know, rates are not going to go up that much and that we're going to get rate hikes in the first quarter seem much, much less likely. Now, what do you have to watch out for next week? Wednesday. Wednesday is the biggie. Wednesday is CPI data. Do you think he enjoys this? What do you think? Any, any thoughts? <laughs> I think he enjoys this. Um, Wednesday is CPI data and CPI data is going to be the key thing that drives the market. So if you're trading, I would be a little cautious. Um, of course, it could go either way. Every All the data always can, can't rely on the economist. That's the one thing that we can predict is that economists are utterly unreliable and I can say that I used to be one. Uh, so what's the other news? Well, Berkshire Hathaway is buying stocks, lots of them. Um, and that also gives you an indication that they clearly feel that stocks are cheap and um, it's something to think about, right? Really, like you should take a lot of positivity from these bear markets. I know it's not nice when the portfolio is down um, and it's very nice that last week it recovered quite a lot. I think it has for most of us. I think I'm now only down 11% on the year on my, my stock portfolio, but up 100% on the options portfolio, which is always a nice uh, compensation because it allows me to buy stocks at these levels to even greater extent. And really, your job as an investor is to simply be consistent. How did Buffett make all that money? He was consistent. He's been consistent for decades, buying good companies, buying good stocks, adding particularly when the market was miserable and not being distracted by, you know, shiny objects, that sort of thing. Um, here we go, look at that, <laughs> look at that. Can you see that? Here we go. Uh, you don't need to give me your poor Winston. Um, so, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, manners of golden retrievers, hey? What can we say? So, really sit down this weekend and make a plan. How much do you want to invest? How much do you want to have? There is a wealth calculator on my website called goatacademy.org. Click on the free stuff at the top. There's a free, free section. And in that is a wealth calculator. And really play with that, really mess with that. And print out this plan and put it on the fridge, put it on the wall, wherever you're actually going to see it. This will motivate you so much that you will be richer than Warren Buffett come January. No, I can't promise you that, sadly. But I could promise you a good ear, ear massage. No, but seriously, like that determination and knowing where you're going to go and knowing what your target is gets you there twice as fast and I can say that because I coach a lot of people who do exactly that and they suddenly get this off taken results and it's absolutely incredible so literally go to go to go to academy.org g-o-a-t academy.org one word and click on the free section and, and check out the um the wealth calculator there it's completely free and, and and make that plan that's really the one thing you can do in this market is really build that plan and build that investment consistency and we will be back next week with lots of coverage of course of the the fed and everything else and i wish you a beautiful weekend and i think winston says the same thing and says come on let's play with that ball shall we hey eh? <laughs>